Hello friends, myself Rojak Dishwadak and today we are working on the subject Applied Thermodynamics and the, today's topic is Vapor Absorption Refrigeration System. Now, what exactly we have to see in Vapor Absorption System that it, among the all the topics uh, in refrigerant, we have to use as a liquid ammonia as a refrigerant in vapor absorption system. Basically, refrigeration is mean about that what the space to be cool, we have to extract the heat from the particular space. That how it can be achieved that we can see step by step. The vapor absorption refrigeration system is one of the oldest method and it is invented by sir uh, and it is invented by sir Mitchell Faraday in 1824 the first vapor absorption refrigeration machine was developed by french scientist mr Ferdinand Kerr. in this system as we say the ammonia is used nh3 as the refrigerant and the water is used as the absorbent. So friends, there are basically only two methods of refrigerant that, that means vapor absorption refrigeration and vapor compression refrigeration. So how these two are works and what are the basic difference point between these two we can see. In the absorption system, it is fundamentally different from the vapor compression system only in the method of employed for compression. That is, the vapor absorption system uses absorber, while as in vapor compression system, we use the compressor to compress and to raise the pressure of refrigerant. The vapor absorption system uses heat energy, while as mechanical energy is used, and as in, the, in terms of compressor in vapor refrigeration system, and the vapor, it in, in order to change the conditions of the refrigerant for operation of the cycle. The major drawback of the vapor compression refrigeration system that it required large volume of refrigerant vapor which requires large mechanical power for its operation. Now on what principle that it works? That is, there is the that is the particular property of some substances and having its affinity for the particular substance to some temperature and pressure and condition and to absorb the heat from particular substance and it is less affinity to another condition. This is the idea behind the uh, vapor absorption system and this is adopted for the working principle of vapor absorption system. In this system, the white powder of ammonia is kept inside the first chamber to which and the ammonia gas was supplied to the sealed fiber. The powder was heated up to white other end and it is cooled using circulating water. The liquid ammonia was obtained in the cool end of the apparatus and after stopping the heat it was observed that the liquid ammonia instead of sitting there it started boiling the formation of bubble process are clearly obtained while formation while boiling of ammonia is created and the vapors was reabsorbed by the white powder on touching of boiling end it was astonished to find that vessel was very cold that he repeated the experiment of cooling and it was observed that the container of that particular bubble contains is very cool than the surrounding temperature. This leads to innovation of intimated vapor absorption system and it, it is generated the absorber. Now what we can explain, we can see clearly that the powder of HGCL and on the other side liquid ammonia is there. The supply is directly given to particular tank 
and intimated points are communicated by ammonia gas supply chain and the gas after cooling it can be collected in cooling tank now friends you can see simple vapor absorption system the major parts we can see the condenser generator absorber and evaporator the evaporator is at the last last part of the system as seen in vapor compression system at which we can get the re that is refrigerating effect the absorber absorbs the liquid form of ammonia and the expansion valve is attached to particular point after the generator where the liquid form of ammonia is converted into gaseous form and it releases the heat and cool form of ammonia gives the evaporative cooling power to the system the generator continuously flows down the cooling water supply and the fresh ammonia is continuously moving in the form of bubbles as early we see now we can very simplified the above diagram and for particular process we can obtain the four major parts as compare in vapor compression refrigeration that is the one thing is most significant is there the compressor is replaced by absorber which is shown in the green portion and this absorber is directly connected to vapor generator that are generated with the help of liquid ammonia and the strong solution supply to absorber and weak solution supply to vapor generator the circulating uh, uh, supply lines are directly interconnected to vapor generator and absorber the expansion and contraction process there is the expansion valve which is controlled with nh3 solution that is ammonia solution also high pressure vapors collected into the evap into the condenser and evaporator is there to collect the cool co cooling effect and low pressure low temperature ammonia again supplied to absorber so this is the schematic vertical two stage diagram at the left side of the in front of your screen it is the low pressure side high pressure side and at the same time on the right hand of your uh, screen there is the high pressure side so friends by the use of vapor absorption system we can conclude for it is electrolux ammonia hydrogen cycle that on behalf of water and liquid ammonia they use the three types three liquids for absorption and three fluid absorption system is developed that is also called electrolux refrigeration now what they exactly do that they use the weak solution while weak solution of ammonia leaves the heat exchanger they gives heating in the generator and the liquid form of that particular uh, li refrigerant is controlled into the rectifier and the vapor formation of ammonia and that refrigerant are collected into condenser with high pressure and low temperature that is liquid ammonia and low temperature is collected directly into the evaporator where we can get the evaporative process and re for the particular use then hydrogen is the most vital important playing role in three fluid ammonia system the third one the first one as are uh, replaced in electrolux electrolux uh, machine we replace the water nh3 and ammonia along with hydrogen that hydrogen particle have strong affinity to absorb the water particles and vapor condition and that's why it is very effective and improves the efficiency of cooling now by using all these things vapor compression refrigeration comparatively vapor absorption system have 
some significant advantages. That compressor, as we say, it is replaced by the help of absorber and condenser and by gravity and force they can use to circulate the ammonia vapor. That's why there is the no mechanical moving part in the pump or motor which completely small than compressor system and result in quite in operation. In the vapor absorption system, it uses the heat energy to change in condition of refrigerant. That's why as compared to vapor compression system, it uses mechanical energy and it changes the condition of refrigerant. It can be built for the huge working capacity. That is up to 1,000 tonnage. After that, it can be offered and designed to coefficient of performance on even the parts load by varying generator. That every system have somewhat disadvantages. Now see the efficiency due to vaporization of ammonia and hydrogen. There is the efficiency is somewhat low as compared to vapor compression system. It takes long time to produce the cooling effect and by for heating purpose we can use for gas oil or kerosene that the bad smell is also produced and due to the low working pressure the cop of refrigeration is also low the initial cost of the equipment is high in case of practical vapor absorption system that's all friends about the vapor absorption system and vapor compression system we will meet in with the new topic in applied thermodynamics thank you very much thanks